So, you've got a full day to yourself and you want to spend it drinking tea. As with anything, there can be too much of a good thing. Your mind may want to keep going, while your body might disagree. Not only can the effects of non-stop caffeine take its toll, but your taste buds can also only work so efficiently for so long. Having endured many marathon tea drinking days ourselves, we can offer a few tips on how to keep the tea flowing from morning to night. Avoid drinking on an empty stomach. For anyone who's felt the effects of overindulging during happy hour before eating dinner, then this is an obvious one. Having food in your stomach before drinking tea will help slow down absorption and spread the effects of the caffeine. Otherwise, it's much easier to become tea drunk. Yes, that is a thing, and it's not nearly as fun as it sounds. In fact, it's often quite uncomfortable. We recommend having satiating or slow digesting foods before drinking tea, which include high protein or high fat foods. And while we're on the topic of food, it's good to avoid foods or flavors that might affect how you taste your tea. Heavily spiced meals and strong smelling fruit are not recommended. Garlic and onion, as delicious as they are, are also not the best thing to have right before diving into a delicate or fragrant tea. As you continue through the day, it doesn't hurt to snack between every two to three teas. Again, we recommend something satiating or filling, but the most important thing is that it has a simple flavor that won't linger. The next thing worth considering is the order of the teas you're drinking. Our recommendation here is to move from less oxidized and greener teas earlier in the day to more oxidized darker teas later. The lighter color teas like raw puar or greener wulongs will tend to have a more complex fragrance and nuances associated with them. It's worth having a clear palette to make sure you can pick up on the more delicate notes. As you progress, darker teas that focus more on body and with a simpler flavor profile won't demand as much from you. If you plan to continue drinking tea at night, or perhaps you're just more sensitive to caffeine, another way you can reduce the effects is by skipping the first two to three brews. You will still be taking in some caffeine, but much of it will be contained in the first several infusions. Or perhaps you're worried that you wouldn't be able to get through a whole tea at night and don't want to waste it. This is an excellent time to take some leftover leaves from earlier in the day and boil them. A large leaf grade of white tea like Shomei is perfect for this, as are many Shou or Huangpian puars. Our last suggestion is to reduce the size of your brewing vessel. If you're drinking alone, then a 200ml teapot might be a bit much for one person. Using a small teapot or gaoan of 100ml or less will allow you to switch teas much more frequently and keep things interesting. These are a few of our suggestions for managing long days of drinking or comparisons, but perhaps there are some tips we missed. If you have any yourself, please let us know in the comments so we can all learn a little more. In the future, we'll cover some tips for conducting tea tastings as well, so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss that one and other useful videos. And don't forget to like this video, as it will make your tea taste better in mysterious ways.